In this video, you're going to learn how to create an image texture decal with an opacity mask. An opacity mask will control which parts of your texture are transparent or see-through and which parts of the texture are opaque or solid. So let's go ahead, open up an image that we're going to use as a masked decal. I'm going to use this poster and let's go ahead and resize this 512 by 512. Now this is a rectangular image, so we could use rectangular dimensions. But to keep this simple, I'm going to use it as a square. So using the crop tool, I set the width and height to 512 by 512. Let's resize this. And then I need to extend beyond the boundaries of this texture and make sure that this texture is right in the middle. And press enter. Now we need to create a mask that will make this poster solid and these empty space on the side as transparent. To create a mask, we're going to use an alpha channel of this image. So first I'm going to use the marquee tool and select the poster by drawing the marquee image just for the poster itself. Then let's go ahead and jump over to channels and scroll down and we want to create a new channel by clicking on this icon. This will create an alpha channel. And with the alpha channel selected, we want to fill this marquee selection with white. And I already have white and black set for foreground color and background color. So with the foreground color, I'm going to press Alt Backspace to fill the marquee selection with the foreground color, which is currently set to white. With a mask, white will be opaque or solid. And this is where our poster is going to show. And black is transparent or see-through. And this is going to be invisible. So white is visible, black is invisible. Let's go ahead and jump back to our RGB, go back to layers. And one more thing I want to do is invert my selection, Control Shift I, or you can use marquee selection individually. And these dark gray areas, I want to fill them with the closest color of the border of the poster. And the reason I'm doing that is to eliminate any edges or pixels that may show up where the mask is rendering these areas as invisible. So it's good practice to surround the invisible areas of your image, of your texture, with a similar surrounding pixel color to prevent pixel bleed artifacts. So I just used the color picker, selected the color of the border, and with the selection already set, press Alt Backspace to fill the selection with the foreground color. And it looks like I need to fix this area. So I'm going to manually select this and fill it and do the same thing for this side. Now let's go ahead and save. Go to file, save as, choose Targa. Let's go back and go inside our textures folder. And I'm going to name this decal underscore poster and click save. I want to make sure that alpha channels is enabled down here on the save options. And I want to choose 32 bit. This will retain the alpha channel that we created and it will be a part of the image. And let's go ahead and click OK. Let's go ahead and import that texture decal into Unreal Engine. Let's select our texture folder, select import and choose decal poster. Next, let's jump over to materials folder and create a new decal material. I'm going to name this MAT underscore decal poster and click enter. Now let's double click to open the material editor. And let's jump back to Content Browser, select our Texture Decal Poster, back to Material Editor, hold T, left click, to place the texture sample. Let's go ahead and drag RGB output into base color. Let's select Matte Decal Poster Material Expression, change Material Domain to Deferred Decal, then change Decal Blend Mode to Debuffer Translucent Color, and let's take the Alpha Channel and drag the output into opacity. Let's apply and go back to our map, go to materials and left click and drag our decal poster into the map in front of this wall. Let's go ahead and raise it up. Let's make sure that we point the direction of the decal projection onto the wall. Let's rotate and let's scale. And here we have our masked decal material with the unnecessary parts 
as invisible. Now this poster is slightly see-through and I like this effect and I am going to keep this. But if I wanted this solid or almost solid decal, we would follow the same principles and create a normal map to apply to this material, to this decal. So now you know how to create a masked textured decal and use it in your level. In the next video, we're going to expand a little further on using a masked material for your decals and create a sewer drain decal.